Alrighty then. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Box. Welcome back to Phasmophobia. We're at the prison. So, last time, the last video, we explored the prison. We saw what there was to see. Uh, I think we... Uh, the only logical step forward at this point is to go in with nothing and uh, do one of those behavior hunts. What do you say? That sounds like a good idea to me. Now this, of course, is for a specific reason. Two reasons, really. And, uh, well, it actually kind of, I don't know, maybe, maybe? Right now, uh, what I'm doing is I'm testing a method to be sh uh, to try and get Phasmophobia to, like, work. Because Phasmophobia has, like, a, a serious problem in VR to where, like, it doesn't work. So, like, there's a lot of stuttering on occasion, and there's a lot of, like, just... You can't move sometimes, and the game crashes. I mean, it crashes normally, but it, it seems like all of these things are extenuated in VR for... Not for whatever reason. I, I, I know the reason. Uh, there are, like, two renderings going on. There's one in front of my face, and then there's one on, like, my monitor, which is, like, over here somewhere. So, like, it's rendering the game twice. Oh, lord. Oh, I heard that. And so it's rendering the game twice, meaning, uh... It's twice as taxing on my system. I guess. I think that's what's going on. That's what some people in forums seem to say. But, um... One of the, the solutions seems to be just, like, don't focus the game, so that's what I'm doing. While not focusing the game, I am also testing to be sure... I heard something get thrown just now, I think it's in the next room over here. If I can find the doorway. Okay. Oh lord. Somewhere around here there was a light switch, right? No, these are the cells. Hold on. Those are the cells that lead to the call center, and this turns on this light. Okay. Um... I kind of lost my train of thought. This pretty much is just like a test to see if everything kind of works properly, I guess. Um, and how smooth it runs. Because if it runs... Smoothly? For the most part, for how smoothly this game can run, um, then I'm thinking I might try an asylum run like this. Of course, there are no promises about that. Because asylum is absolutely the worst running map for me, by far, in VR. It's really bad. I think it's upstairs. I think it's upstairs, because I heard a door open, I've heard things fly off of shelves and whatnot. I don't know what that sound was. Either that sound actually happened, or my tinnitus is making new sounds. Which is a scary thing to think about, actually. There it was again. I think it's upstairs. I'm hearing them relatively close by and in that general direction. I don't remember what's over there. But we'll find out. Oh lord. So, um... Right now it seems to be kinda working better than normal. Okay, that's a bookshelf. It seems to kinda sort of be working, but at the same time, kinda not. Give me a sign. I don't think it's over there. Shh. This looks like a door. 
bathroom. Okay. I should probably maybe leave that on, maybe? Because I can't see up here. I think this is... no. Can't really see very well up here. Power can spawn up here? Dude. I don't know where the light switch up here is. There's gotta be a light switch up here, right? Unless I'm not in the right area. I haven't heard any sounds for a while. Oh god, being up here is like a nightmare to navigate. I'm gonna turn off the lights on my way back down. I can't see very well. If, for any reason, the power goes off, I am utterly screwed. I can't, for the life of me, at all see up here. Oh, good lord. Alright, I'm definitely hearing stuff, and I heard more activity downstairs than up. So my... There's that sound again. There's a door. Is that a sink? It's a little hard to hear. The tinnitus is kind of loud. I think I hear a sink? Forgot. I thought that was just another room. But I definitely hear stuff down here. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so it's a noisy ghost, whatever it is, it's very loud. It's making noises. I need I need a second to think. It's making noises kind of distant from me. I can hear them definitely. That makes me think it's not super territorial. That makes me think take out Jin, take out Oni. I don't think I need to worry about either of them. There's a decent amount of activity, which makes me also want to say that Shade might be out of the picture too, but I'm alone. You, Helen. But I'm alone, so... I don't know. There's there's really only one way to find out, and I need to be very, very careful with the lights. <sighs> I need to be extremely careful. Right? I hate that. I hate that, I love that, but I hate that. Right now, I kind of think one of my fir worst fears are realized. It's in the library. Maybe? I should get that light off, but at the same time, I don't want to be in the dark there. I'm at 75%. If it's anything, you know, kind of dangerous. Really, I'm just scared of a demon. Okay. Is this is a door. This is an open door. Is there no light switch in here? <sighs> okay, that opens that. It's not exactly what I'm interested in right now. Oh lord, okay. This one I think I'll shut that off because I don't really need it. I hear a sink though! Is there a sink in the library? Ugh. Or is it in the lunch lady area? It's in the cafeteria, isn't it? Or it's in this area. First question, can you pick up these books? Second question. Okay. 
Can you give me a sign? I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. I don't really want to. Especially since I don't know where the light switches are in there. But if I stick along the wall, should be fine, right? Okay. Cut. Cut. I, I need to step outside. <sighs> Excuse my nerve. I am, uh, I am what they refer to in the business as a... And I am terrified. Right now, I want to say poltergeist. I want to say poltergeist, and here is my immediate reasoning. Oh god. I'm gonna stand right here and look at the place to make sure the power doesn't go off, or just, you know, die inside if it does. My... Right now I'm thinking poltergeist simply because of all of the things it's interacting with. Granted, I haven't seen it interact with any lights, so I don't know what else it would be interacting with. That makes me think maybe it's in the cafeteria? Maybe? I don't know. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to have freezing temperatures. I was in its area, there is no freezing temp, so I can probably safely say maybe it's a poltergeist. The sink was on, there were several open doors um, leading both into the library itself, which was my initial observation, and then into the, 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 the cafeteria lady area, where the sink was on. Of course, that's just m minor, minor thoughts. Um, and whatever it is, it doesn't seem to be particularly aggressive, which I'm thankful for, but, um, yeah, I think it's a poltergeist right now. Uh, I'm gonna check my sanity and have maybe one more go at it. Okay. Actually, what I'll do... I'm gonna have a look at this for about a solid minute or two. And just see what activity is like out here when I'm not inside. Let me have a better look at this map so I don't get lost. Walking in, when I first walked in, I thought, like, okay, I heard some noises. I thought, look, eh, it sounds like it's in that area didn't see anything, and thought maybe upstairs, I heard absolutely nothing. We know for sure it's in one of these areas right here. It turned on the sink, it's open doors, and I'm pretty sure it threw a book or two at some point. I know a good test. I know a good test. I made this observation when I was, like, exploring the map a little bit more on my own as well, and while also, like, testing some other, other things. Um... There is a basketball. There is a basketball almost right next to the almost right next to the library entrance. If that basketball is moved, I'm thinking maybe it's definitely been throwing stuff in the library, since there's not a whole lot for it to throw in the other rooms. I didn't see in the square room, I didn't see a whole lot of stuff that looked like it was out of place. Um, and in the cafeteria, there are lunch trays that can be tossed around, but what I heard didn't sound like metal. It sounded like, it sounded like a, a solid object, not a malleable object, I guess. So right now, well, I still have Sandy. I'm going to go check the library. I'm going to go check for that basketball and see if that's been thrown around a little bit. What does that mean if it, if it has been? I don't know. It means it's been thrown. It, whatever this ghost is, it's definitely throwing a lot of things. It's definitely doing stuff. Touching doors, opening things. Turning stuff on. Basketball is missing. I distinctly remember there being a basketball there. Where is the basketball? I don't know if it's always there. <laughs> but it's not there. It's touching lights. Thank you. 
You you scared me. Thank you. Yeah, this room looks surprisingly untouched and unthrown. I don't know where that basketball is though. I gotta get out of here. I I I hate this. I feel like the real answers lie within the cafeteria. Power dead. That essentially means that I'm not going back in there ever again. If the power dies, you meet your demise. I'm going to. Oh, this looks cleaner. I am going to go with Poltergeist, is my initial assumption. Uh, just due to the amount of activity in the area. I honestly don't... Well, let's look at what it couldn't be as well. I don't think it could be an Oni. I don't think it could be a Jin, because there's activity when I'm here, of all places. Like, in this area. Not even, like, up here necessarily. Down here. I don't think that's far enough for the ghost to be like, You're infringing upon my upon my tight area! Get the f*** out! I don't think that's enough. I think I would need to be either, like, in its room, outside its room, just in the immediate vicinity. I don't think the front door counts. Or I don't think it's far enough, rather. Uh, I'm at 60%. Right now, going in without anything is going to basically tell me that, uh, hey, um, I'm probably going to die. I'm not going to know when it's hunting, and it would be extremely dangerous for me to go back in there right now. So I'm not going to. Um, but if it were a demon, I feel like it would have attacked me. Same goes for the mare, because I've been in darkness for a good bit. Uh, for maybe... Five minutes or so, just wandering around upstairs and just trying to figure out where light switches were. I've been in the dark for a good bit, and I haven't been attacked. Anything with freezing breath is probably off the table. So, let's have a look here. What all has freezing breath? And then immediately get rid of it. You, Ray, and Demon can go. A Revenant and a Shade are kind of possible. It could be a Revenant again, actually. I only, like, the the few times that I've been on this map, I seem to get a bunch of revenants, so I don't see why it couldn't be a revenant. It's definitely messing with a lot of things. It's opening doors and such and throwing things around. I haven't seen a revenant touch lights. I'm sure they can, but I feel like it's... Excuse me. I feel like it's relatively uncommon, but I don't know. Uh, Mare, no... Uh, Jin, no. Banshee, no. Poltergeist, I think so. Phantom, no. Wraith, no. Spirits. Uh, I doubt it, personally. I doubt it, just considering how uncommon spirits are. At least for me. Right now, my main options are between a Revenant, a Shade, and a Poltergeist. I'm gonna. I kind of want to discount shade a little bit, just because. Like I know sometimes shades can be really, really active, even though they're supposed to be shy. They're not actually that shy sometimes. But this is a lot of activity. Like there's there's tons going on. Look at that. I don't really. Jesus Christ. I don't really have any reason to believe that it's not a revenant, except for that just that one light flicker. And Poltergeist. Poltergeist is just messing with... Just, just, it's, it's touching everything. It's touching everything. Got its grubby little paws on all over the... All over the good china. Like an asshole. I've given my piece. I've said why I think what it is. I think it's a Poltergeist. It's Poltergeist. 
That's too easy. That's too easy. Give me a challenge. 